When a reporter asked why she should remain committed to rearmament, despite the party's dwindling approval ratings and recent election losses, Christia Freeland expressed her respect for the Prime Minister's decision while acknowledging voters' concerns about the cost of living. Thank you. And a quick follow-up from our um, Ottawa Bureau. Um, your party is 20 points down in the polls, and you've lost one of the safest liberal seats in the city you've represented largely due to voters' concerns around the cost of living and their finances. Can you explain why you should stay on as finance minister? Well, that's a choice for the prime minister, of course. Um, but what I will say is there was definitely a clear message from the voters of Toronto St. Paul's. And I think it's really important for our government to hear that message and to act on that message. And that message was things are hard. Life is hard. You as the government need to act and deliver to make life easier for us. We hear that and we know that we have to work harder and we have to deliver and show results for Canadians. We have to deliver on housing. We have to deliver on making life more affordable. We have to deliver on economic growth and jobs. And we have to continue to do all of that in a fiscally responsible way that allows interest rates to continue to come down. So that's what we're committed to doing. Next. I value the sense of responsibility and leadership, she said. But can Christia Freeland's recognition of voters' messages and her promises to work harder be seen as true accountability for the current economic situation? The public's criticism remains sharp as they see no specific actions or solutions in her response. Freeland's emphasis on fiscal responsibility aligns with conservative values of economic prudence and controlled government spending. While the public supports this focus, it raises the question, how will the public trust the Liberal Party? Taxpayers are likely to demand more concrete plans, measures, and solutions to address their concerns and support them, given the current government's approach. Freeland stands by her continued role as the Prime Minister's choice, which the public might perceive as an evasion of personal responsibility. With nine years of leadership in Canada, it's crucial to assess whether her decision-making capacity and temperament can meet the challenges ahead.